All right, guys, have you ever fucked a girl in an apple orchard and came inside her? Now you have, because we're reviewing Skinny Dip. It is a uh, cider shandy, and so I think I've established, like, a running theme here, guys. Um, we got to answer two questions with each alcohol review. The first question is, is it juice? The second question is, uh, how fucked up is it going to get you? And the third question that I just made up right now is, is it a good study beer? All right, so going to the first question, is it juice? Wholeheartedly, yes, my friends. It's a cider and a shandy. Like, we couldn't get more juice if we tried. Um, I think it's a hit. It's um, honestly going to, like, knock out the smooge shit, um, only because this stuff is not 20 bucks for four cans. That's specialist money that I don't have. Um, but this stuff is hella cheaper, so that's cool. Um, and you get more than four cans. It's a uh, grapefruit lime cider lemonade, so like refreshing as fuck. And it is a 4% alcohol, and so that makes it um, a pretty, like you're not going to get that fucked up. You can have a couple and and not get trashed. Uh, but the problem, though, is that it's super delicious, so like you, you could easily want to have more. So like, I guess like a little bit dangerous. Um, one thing that I did notice about it, which I found like a little bit worrying, is that it's made in Hudsonville, and I work in Hudsonville. I know exactly the kind of people who live in Hudsonville, a small town with like a lot of just white people in it, um, very conservative. I don't know if they support me as much as I just support ciders. Um, so like, should I be buying this? Should I look into this company? No, I don't wanna know if they're made by just pure trolls. Um, I'm assuming they're going to be great and they're like super cool Hudsonville people. God, I hope so. Anyway, so, uh, is it a juice? Absolutely. Is it super alcoholic? No, that's not the goal right now because that's because I'm using it as what? A study beer. What am I study beer? Something I can drink and uh, not get too fucked up. Because sometimes I have study beers and if I have too many of them, I send embarrassing emails to my microbiome professor and um, I've already sent her a couple, which uh, weren't great. My last one was a story about how uh, I just linked together fungus, uh, mushrooms. Uh, we were studying mycology. And my dad's cracked open bleeding feet. Um, when I was young, a young kid, my dad got this really severe case of athlete's foot. And it was so bad, his feet were cracked open, it was bleeding, it was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen as a small child, in a medical sense. And uh, it horrified me. And right about that same time, in a earth science class, we there's this passing comment about how mushrooms are fungus. And my little tiny brain, just neuron snaps has happened, and I've just linked mushrooms and my father's bleeding feet together, which is why I don't eat mushrooms. Um, I've only had a mushroom once, and yes, it was hallucinogenic. Um, so I sent her that email. She doesn't need to know this. She probably knows I'm drunk. That's not great. Um, I have to send her more memes about her classes, I think, in order to make her forget about this. Anyway, decent study beer. Um, I like it. You should try it if you want juice. It's refreshing as fuck. Great for summer. Um, yeah, there's like a little Oscar Wilde quote in it. Maybe they're not as terrible as I thought. I'm sorry, um, Farmhouse Cider Company. I might have like slandered your good name a little bit. I'm sure you're fine, upstanding people, even though you do suspiciously live in Hudsonville. Yeah, anyway, so uh, skinny dipping. Just like do it. it. It's good for all body types. This one, assuming you're over 21, of course. Um, it's a cute little name, isn't it? I like it. There's a lot of jokes you can make. I didn't know what to make, like, Shan Shan, can you do the Shan Shan? Um, other cider jokes came in cider. Anyway, uh, Landon Cider is my favorite drag kink. Um, I don't know that many, though, so that's probably not a hard competition. Um, anyway, so for this shout-out, we're going to do Endo because we just make fun of him a lot. And um, I want to make sure his self-esteem doesn't get too hurt, you know? Shout-out Endo.